Hey, Nampa Fire Department. I'm going to be going over the sugar beet factory. We met with the sugar beet factory workers and they wanted to go over their procedures when they have a pulp warehouse or a pellet warehouse fire. So in Twin Falls, they had a large fire that burned most of the, uh, the structure down from one of these fires. So if you're dispatched to a fire here and they'll let you know if it's a pulp or a warehouse or pellet warehouse fire you want to enter right here okay this is from Karcher main entrance to the, like the parking lot is over here you'll be coming from Karcher down here on the west side of the structure they'll have somebody here at the gate you follow these blue arrows you come down this lane hang a right right here and you can see you'll have two hydrants to um, pull water from. These are probably your best uh, hydrants to pull from. There is another hydrant way back in this area here, but it's kind of hard to get to. If you pull down here, they'll let you know which, which fire it is, the pulp warehouse or the pellet warehouse. Now, most likely it'll be a pulp warehouse fire. This is more shreds, and what happens is it gets condensed down, and they check it for heat. It can cause uh, ignition. Their procedure is they're going to actually take out a panel of the metal of the metal um, wall and start trying to move things with their front end loader. Okay, you'll be working with them on whether to apply water. Really, if the fire gets kind of large and out of hand, that's when we're going to apply water. So we want to be ready for that. Catching a water supply, pulling lines into different strategic areas. There's an opening right here, and on the pellet there's an opening, big opening right here, plus a small opening on this side, okay? Now, we also have hydrants on both of these sides, so if we need another water source, we do have it here. As you make the right turn coming off of Karcher, you'll see the two large hoppers. To the left is the pellet hoppers, and then to the right is your shredded hopper. You look to the left here, here's one of your hydrants. This is probably the most likely um, the hydrant you would use if you're catching it for the pellets. As you go to the right, you can see the uh, hydrant over there on the right hand side behind those stack of pallets. Their plan of attack is to pull panels off of the wall and enter it with their front end loader and start removing either the heated product depending if it's combusted or not or they will isolate it and allow us to put the product that's heated up or on fire out. Our main objective is to protect their product in a safe way. So definitely work with the project manager there. Have lines in place. Work with them and let them tell you wh whether or not you know they can protect it or not. Our job is to protect them with hose lines, protect the product, and isolate the existing good product. This is another, this is showing going down towards the opening. This is the main opening into the shredded area. They take this shredded pile here, you can see the stuff shooting out, and then they push it back to the back of the uh, container. That pile ends up being 25, 30 feet tall and about 25, 30 feet wide. So it's a large pile. Yeah, and if you see this hydrant, it's just yard art. Don't use it. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.